Okay, we're about to go into a dangerous turn and experience the pre-safe. What is pre-safe? When the situation gets dangerous, but the accident has not yet occurred, this is the field where pre-safe is active. So passive safety is about trying to protect the passengers and driver when there's already a collision. And active safety is about avoiding collisions altogether. And then pre-safe is about when you detect that there's a dangerous situation to try to prepare the car before any crash, if there exactly. is one. Exactly, exactly. We try to detect dangerous situations. The question is, how can you detect these dangerous situations? And the second question, of course, is what can you do once you have detected such a dangerous situation? You need environmental sensors. You need cameras or radar sensors to detect uh, that there is an obstacle right in front of the car or something like that. In every Mercedes car, we have an ESP, Electronic Stability Program. This ESP, for example, can detect a sliding and skidding car. We're going to actually skid or slide. Yes. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. I suppose we will, yes. Imagine we drive here and I am distracted. The music is so bad. And all of a sudden, I see the danger in front of us because there might be a, a traffic jam or something like that. And this is an emergency braking and that's what we detect. We can pull the belt tight and release it again after the situation in case you were lucky and the, the braking was just in time. So what other actions can you take to prepare the vehicle before a potential collision? If the passenger seat is in a more or less unfavorable position, we adjust it to a towards a safer position. We would lift up the backrest in this case, for example. We have these um, emergency braking situations, but of course you can also imagine like uh -oh. Uh, uh -oh. we'd be in a situation, in a well, situation like that. I felt the belt tension yeah. and I also heard... Uh, you, what you heard is pre-safe sound. What is that? Do you know about the stapedius muscle? I didn't know about it before this, no. <laughs> Whenever we hear loud noise, this stapedius muscle is activated and dampens the transmission of sound between the eardrum and the inner part of the ear. So that's a protection from loud noise that all of us have. It's called pink noise. It's not that loud, but it is sufficient to activate this natural reflex. Of course, uh, an accident is a loud event. And so protecting the inner part of the ear from this loud event is something that definitely makes sense. By the way, you asked for other pre-safe measures. Um, Should I put the seat back a little bit? Does that help? Yes, you can do that. This now would not be an optimal position in case of an accident because there is a danger that you would uh, slide below the belt and the belt can't uh, protect you properly. You can't restrain me. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, the seat came up and the, the windows came closed. Up, the windows closed, the sunroof is closed again. Windows, sunroof are also um, something we can adjust in case windows are open, sunroof is open. There is a certain danger that people could be ejected from the vehicle in a, in a rollover situation or think of um, swirling the arm outside of the vehicle, um, which is also not very safe in case of a, an accident, maybe a, a rollover situation. So simply closing the window, closing the sunroof can prevent these dangers. Do the windows come up fast enough for this to help in an accident? <laughs> doing nothing would be worse. Let's at least try. Each inch helps and improves the situation. Well, this is fantastic. Thank you so much for showing me this. <laughs> You're welcome. I have been in more potentially like crash situations today than I have been for <laughs> my whole life. Hey, thanks for watching. To see more great content, you can subscribe to the Mercedes-Benz channel by clicking here, or to see another video, click here. And safe driving.